Welcome back to a very autumnal northern Sweden. I have something very exciting to show you. My 2024 Red Squirrel calendar is finally here and I'm so happy with it. I think it's turned out really nicely and to everyone who has pre-ordered, thank you. It really does support me and I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you. We are actually leaving Sweden this weekend and there's a few autumnal activities that I want to do before we leave, including making pumpkin soup. I want to get some photos of some birds on a pumpkin. So I hope you enjoy these autumnal activities with me. just finished setting up the pumpkins. For the birds, for something a bit fun and autumnal, I want to get them sitting around it. And so far the birds haven't worked out that I've moved the feeder. It is horrendously windy today and I had other photography ideas. Oh, Okay, so there are two birds now near the feeder that's been moved. So hopefully they start going on the pumpkins. I want to slaughter those pumpkins later and make a soup. So hopefully they do it soon. <laughs> I'm going to show you something a little bit different now. Last week Juan and I went to a city called Umia. It's about two hours away from us and we went to this charity shop and we ended up spending over an hour in there. I found so much good stuff. I only spent about 42 pounds, which is like 600 set. I found these perfect squirrel boxes that I can fill with hazelnuts. The highlight was this children's book and I just picked it up by chance because I could see children wearing mushroom hats and that seemed interesting to me and then I opened it up to discover it is utterly adorable there are red squirrels throughout there are these little children who wear Amanita hats and apparently the author is basically the equivalent of Beatrix Potter she's Swedish her name is Elsa Besko when I picked it up and I had my stash of things I was going to buy Two people almost stole it from me. So I realized quite quickly that it was a popular book. And this specific one is from 1965. And as you can see, it's falling apart, but I wanted to frame the pages. So I bought all of these frames. I'm going to stain them with a wood stain so they're all roughly the same color and put the frames in my office. I've now finished staining all the frames and they definitely look more uniform except for the ones that were blue but I don't mind them dark. I'm filthy <laughs> so I'm going to clean up, let them dry and then put the prints in.
This video is sponsored by Squarespace. My Squarespace website is looking a little snazzy these days, and that's thanks to Squarespace being so easy and customizable. I sell my calendar and greeting cards on my website. I can also check orders and analytics on the app. If you'd like to give Squarespace a go, head to squarespace.com slash dannyconnorwild and you can save 10% off a new purchase of a website or a domain. The air is feeling much colder. Minus temperatures are back and it feels like winter could arrive any day. The arrival of the snow is always exciting, but also nerving as it means the start of six months of snow. But I have a heated house that I can escape to but they don't. 